How you doing guys, welcome back to you again, welcome to Nothing To Something, this here on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, where I try and see what team I'm able to create by the end of FIFA 23, by spending now FIFA points, anything like that, I just want to see what team I'm able to achieve by the end of FIFA 23, guys, because I thought you could kind of say it's kind of like a road to glory, with a different name, but yeah guys, if you did see last episode, please check it out, and also if you are enjoying this series, please smash that like button, it means so much guys, if you could say, Give, it, give this video a like. But yeah, guys, as you can see, there's a couple of players on the screen that I might be putting into an SBC. I bought a couple of players that might be going into an SBC, guys, that you might be seeing a little bit later on in the video. Because I did see this 88 plus mid or FIFA World Cup icon upgrade pack. And I thought maybe, maybe, maybe it might be tempting to do it. I mean, guys, you have to, you have to wait to, at, the, at the end of the episode to see if I do this pack or if I do like the Eric Bay SBC. I mean, I don't want to spoil it too much, guys, but obviously I did buy them players for an SBC that I'm hoping might turn out well and we could get a really, really good card out of it. I mean, you never, never, never know, guys, we're going to jump into some more Division Rivals gameplay. Let's see how we do, guys. Let's see how we do. But yeah, guys, how are you doing in Division Rivals? Please have a comment down below on what rank you are in Division Rivals. I'd love to, I'd love, I'd love to know, guys, to see what rank you are, you are in, in Division Rivals. We can see the team that we're going to be facing is he has got a Navas, a Godfrey, a Bernardo Silva, a, Bernard, a Fernandez, a Solskjaer, a Poyet, an Abri, a Cancelo. Very, very nice team indeed. A very nice team indeed. But you can see Poyet through now. Poyet through. Oh, my days, guys. Lovely save there from the keeper. Now I'll pass it back. Oh, my days. Thank God for the keeper there. Somehow he keeps it away from him from getting that goal there, from Poyet getting that goal because he means he boots back out to him. And luckily enough, the keeper was able to get the ball back. But you can see now Messi's through. Messi's through. Can Messi put it away? Messi. Lovely finish there from Messi. Put, put it into the bottom left hand corner of the net in the 11th minute a fantastic finish there from Messi what a finish indeed put into that bottom left hand corner make it 1-0 11th minute Brigger is through now Nabry's through again Nabry's through Nabry's through can he put it away he can his Poyet scores now his Poyet missed that first opportunity but he didn't miss his second opportunity he makes it 1-1 in the 17th minute a lovely goal there from his Poyet I've noticed a lot of people using that Poyet SBC card now and it seems like a really really good card to use I must miss it because I've got him uh, please Coming in below, but you can see Higuain's through, Higuain's through. Oh my days, what a finish there from Higuain. Slot it into the bottom left hand corner, rolls it underneath the keeper. A lovely, lovely finish there. I check the run, I hold it for a second, I cut back inside and put it in left hand corner there with Higuain. Lovely goal. But Higuain's through again. Can Higuain score again? I think he can, he can. He put it into the bottom left hand corner again in the 42nd minute to make it 3 1. A fantastic finish again from Higuain. Slot it into the bottom left hand corner again. In. A lovely finish, but go Cody's through now. What can Cody do? Can Cody score now? He can. He rolls it under Navas, makes it 4 1 in the 52nd minute of the match. A lovely finish there from Cody. Oh my days, guys. We've scored a lot of goals so far in this match. I cannot believe it because, like I say, he's a really, really good faith player I've been facing in this match. But oh my days, I cannot believe he's already scored four goals in this match. But go Cody's through and he gives away a penalty. He chops Cody down. He set it to back, gets a red card. Can Air Kite now score a goal and make it 5 1 in the 61st minute? Let's find out, guys. Here we go. Can I put it away? Oh, I hit the crossbar. Oh, my days, guys. I could not hit leave. I hit the crossbar there. But actually, the keeper throws it out. Camera intercepts the ball. He gets it to Kite. Kite's now got the ball. He gets it to Cody. Cody's going through. Can Cody score again? He can. Cody slots it underneath Navas again. Gets his second goal of the game right there. It makes it 5-1 for us. I mean, unfortunately, I missed the penalty, but Cowley was able to get the ball again and slot it underneath Navas to make it 5-1. A lovely finish there, and he decided to rage quit, which... I suppose I can understand he was 5-1 down, but I do think he could have got a, he definitely could have got a couple of goals back because he was a good faith player and he had a really good team, so I do think he could have definitely got a couple of goals back in my opinion. But I mean a fantastic win for us there. Cowie's got two goals, one assist. Higuain got two goals. Messi got a goal and assist. Coit got three assists, which I think is fantastic indeed. For I mean a, a lot of assists there for Dirk Coit, in my opinion. I mean a fantastic result for us. I think we played really well in that game. I do miss. I do think I played pretty well that game. But we had 15 shots to 6, a little bit less possession, but I do think that we played we play quite well, and I do, I do honestly think that he was a good faith player too, so I do think he could definitely got back up into the matchup in my opinion, I do honestly think he could have, but yeah, guys, we're going to jump into another Division Rivals game, let's see what team he has got, he has got a, well what team has he got guys, what team has he got, he's got a Pope again, I see a lot of Popes, oh my god, he's got a full pretty much icon back line there with Lucio, another icon, another icon, he got a foot hero World Cup card. Oh my days, what a team. I bet that team costs a lot of coins indeed. But he goes, Higuain's through. Higuain. Fantastic save there from Pope. 
Go his throw now. He's Morris. He's through. He gets it to his icon. Can he put it away? Great block there from Fafana. Can we get out? Can Cody get out? He can. But he's back through now. Seidorf's got the ball. Seidorf. All right. Seidorf wiggling through. I didn't think not get the ball. I don't know how Dan Sow didn't get the ball there. But he's Seidorf puts it to the top right left hand corner. Makes it 1 0. But Seidorf through again. Seidorf. Fantastic save there from our keeper. Brigo. Coach now for can coach run down the left. He's he's still going, he's still going, he's still going. Get it to Messi. Fantastic goal there from Messi. He thumps it into the top right hand corner of the net. Make it 1 1 in the 32nd minute of the match. Fantastic finish there from Messi. I mean, as you can see, his side off was causing me problems at our end of the pitch, but luckily Messi come the other way and got a goal for us. But he makes it 2 1 in the 45th minute of the match. He's Mares. Travellers it into the into the corner. Brigo Cowdy's thrown now. What can Cowdy do? Cowdy's still going. Cowdy, a lovely finish again from Cowdy slot it underneath the keeper makes it 2-2 in the 47th minute of the match a fantastic goal there from Cowdy slot it under the keeper into the bottom right hand corner of the net we go cameras through now Messi 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 can he put it away he can Messi makes it 3-2 in the 50th minute of the match a lovely finish there from Cowdy um, <laughs> from Messi there he puts it to, into the right hand side of the net a lovely finish there from Lionel Messi but we go Cowdy's through now can Cowdy get away he's still going he's still going can Cowdy score oh, he tries for the pass I get now to make it go in he go in makes it 4-2 actually we've got quite lucky there I mean I went for the pass initially bounced back off his defender luckily I was able to pass it back to Higuain and he slots it home luckily for us but like I say I went for a tackle there which I don't actually think I really mean I did much but he decided to send Dan, Dan so off which I was really surprised but I don't know why he decided to send Dan so off in my opinion and luckily there we've got a cross in from Messi He's, I went to header it his defender caught the ball and nodded into his own so he's an own goal there make it 5-2 and he decides to raise quick goals which I can understand I suppose but I do think he could have definitely got back up into the match up in my opinion but I still can't really work out why Dan so got sent off because I know I went for the tackle I know I sort of missed the ball but I don't think it was like a hard a bad tackle in my opinion I don't think I actually really caught the player so why Dan so got red carded in my opinion I'm not really too sure why but as you can see Cowley got a goal and assist Higuain got a goal and assist Messi got two goals Cameron got, got an assist Dirk Kite got an assist fantastic 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 result looks like I do think he was a really good faith player he had an amazing team I wish I had his team his team must have cost so many coins but I do think he was a really good faith player so he had 14 shots to 9 I think he could have definitely got backwards to match up in my opinion with his team he had I think he could definitely score some goals so I'm, I'm a bit surprised he raid quit but I can I, I suppose I can see why maybe he did but as you can see guys he fought he got them um, Cody's got 14 goals in 30 games. Higuain's got 31 goals. Messi's got 9 goals, 11 assists. Coit's got 5 goals, 9 assists. 2 assists there for Traore. 7 assists for Cameron, which I think is a, I mean, that's, that's a lot of assists, realistically, when you think about it. A goal for Danso, a goal for Taglafico. No goals or assists yet for uh, Hakeem, but as you can see, I decided to do the 88 plus icon SBC. And as you can see, I'm training a lot of players. I'm training my Higuain, I'm training my Savio in. So I'll. I really went for it, guys. I couldn't believe I was trying to set all my good players in to try and get to see who I could get out his icon pack. And I thought maybe, maybe, maybe let's try and change the team up a little bit and try some different players. Maybe as you can say, I'm, I'm, I'm submitting Cody to Dirk Kite's going. So I put, I mean, I put a fair few players into this. So fingers crossed, we can get a decent player at this icon pack, guys. Fingers crossed, we can get a decent player at this icon pack because I've, I have put a fair few players into it. So hopefully, 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 it pays off and we can get an OK player out. His fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. The first pack, guys. See what we get, guys. Let's see what we get. We get centre back there, 79 rated, not too bad at all. I mean, you can go to SBC. We've got Drax there, who's been in play for Benfica. We've got some SBC players, which hopefully can uh, get us some coins, which will be very nice indeed. Fingers crossed. Or do I, or do I put some for sale? I'm not too sure. I think I think I keep the odd one. I think I put some for sale. It was worth 1,700 coins, so I put it for sale because I thought that was like I don't know. I'm not too sure why it was worth so much. This was like a league on SBC house at the moment. I'm not too sure. But I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy to take 1,700 coins from him. Which I mean, not too shabby at all, not too shabby at all. I mean, I've got a mega pack. And so what we're going to get, we've got a team of the week, which is fantastic indeed. As you can see, we get 83 rated Barini there, team of the week, the former Sunderland man. I've got a happily, happily, happily tech for team of the week. I've got Talese go there, I've got, a Sp I've got the Spurs winger there, I've got Kufo, the West Ham right back. I mean, we've got some OK players that are actually worth a few a few thousand coins, which is very nice indeed. But I say I've got an 83 rated in form, which is going to come in very handy indeed, probably into an SBC. I, I might put him onto the bench and see if he's any good, but I think more than likely he's going to end up going to an SBC, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but yeah, guys, the big pack is coming up. The pack where I trade a lot of my players in to see if I can maybe, maybe, maybe 
get a good player out of his fingers crossed guys fingers crossed we're going to be opening the icon pack now fingers crossed we can get a good player out of his oh my days guys oh my days guys oh my days guys if you guys did this please i'll come down below on who you packed out of this pack but let's open it up guys let's see who we're going to get who we're going to get who we're going to get oh my days guys oh my days guys as you can see we've got 90 rated kenny dalgleish the liverpool legend oh my days what a pack there oh my goodness me guys i could not believe guys i cannot believe i packed Kenny Dalgleish in this pack. I think he's going to be a fantastic player to put into our new team. Oh my days, guys. Look at him stats. He's got 87 pace, 90 shooting, 89 dribbling, 79 passing. A fantastic card there. Oh my days, guys. He's got five star weak foot, four star skills. He's worth at least 300,000 coins. I think that's a very, very good result indeed. I'm really happy with who I was able to get this pack. Oh my days, guys. I think that's, I think that's a win. I do think I'm really happy with that we've got Kenny Dalgleish. I must admit, I think he's going to be a really, really good player for this new team that I'm going to be creating. Oh, my days, guys. Fantastic pickup there out that SBC pack. I'm really happy with that, guys. But, yeah, guys, if you guys did that SBC icon pack, please leave a comment down below on who you packed out. Because I'd love to know who you packed. As you can see, we packed Dalgleish. So, hopefully, now I can be able to make a team out of Laporte and Dalgleish, which I think would be very good indeed. When we've got, like, 600,000 coins worth of players now, which is amazing as you can see we're going to sell for Farner and we get, we're making we make money for Farner which is very nice indeed I think we're going to make what, at least 15,000 coins profit which is very very nice indeed Trail's going to go up for sale Trail is going to go up for sale for about 21,000 coins which is, I don't think it's too bad at all I keep camera for now because he's not worth too much and I think he's been a really good player for me so I'm going to put him onto the bench and maybe bring him as like a super sub because I think he, might, he, could be, he could still do good for me I do think I think he's been really good in that other team I made so hopefully maybe moving into a new team and putting him off the bench when the other players are tired I think camera could maybe do really good but you can see the players have sold got 94,000 coins to help make a new team around Laporte Messi Dalgleish now I think we're going to have a really really good team indeed I must admit I think we're going to have a really really good team indeed but I think we've got another objective here which I think is going to be good indeed we've got another milestone there for scoring there 20 goals we've got an 83 plus rated goal player pack which is very nice indeed we're also going to get um, as you can see a squad um, a squad SBC player there which, which is very nice indeed. Actually, we get the 82 rated right back for free, which I'll happily take, put him onto the bench. He can play centre back, he can play right back, CDM. I think it could be a very, very good card indeed, I must admit. Got a free pack there at the season progress, which I'm really, really happy about. Let's help with the packs up, guys. Let's see what else we might be able to get. We've got Dal Gleish, you never know. We could get something else. You just never, never know, guys. You just never, never know. Okay, the first pack opening up. We get another Jesus Navas, like I say. Like I said, the last episode. I I'd love to know any times I've actually packed Jesus Navas because I feel like it's been a lot now. I feel pretty much every other pack I'm packing him, which I'm not, I'm not complaining about, not at all, but it's like, how many more now Jesus Navas is kind of pack? <laughs> Here we go, let's pack guys, 83 plus rated pack. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? We're going to Tadic there, 84 rated Tadic, the former Southampton man. Now at Ajax. Very, very nice indeed. We'll probably end up going to an SBC, unfortunately. I wish I could say I was going to keep him, but I think I'm going to an SBC, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, I think it's been a very, very good episode. So we've got Dal Gleish, we've got Laporte now. We're going to make a team around them and put Messi into that team too. I think we're going to have a fantastic team indeed. If there's any players you'd like to bring in, guys, please have a comment down below, guys. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. Turn the bells and miss any videos like this on my channel. And I hope to catch you all in the next video, guys. Bye, guys.